everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by, welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today is a DIY that has been so highly requested over the last couple of weeks, and it is for a DIY face mask. Now, quick disclaimer, I do not claim that this face mask does anything other than covering your nose and your mouth. As to how well it works, I can't attest to it, but what I can say is I would rather have something covering my mouth better than nothing since a lot of us cannot get our hands on a regular face mask. And even if we could, we probably shouldn't because our healthcare and first responders really need them the most. So today's DIY, I am partnering with Wish over at Wish Carol, that is an Etsy store where she has got a downloadable face mask pattern. It is a digital download. This face mask is so easy to do, budget friendly, and not only is it budget friendly, but she is offering a 60% off discount using the coupon code KBCREATIONS60. You can find the link to the coupon code and the link to the mask in the description box below. And she's also offering a 40% off coupon off of any of her other merchandise in the store. Thank you so much, Wish Carol, for partnering and collaborating with me to do this DIY today. I think that your face mask pattern is very usable, it's very accessible, and I think that that's something that is very helpful to a lot of people right now who are hunkering down at home. And so the fact that you can just download it, you can print it out and cut it out, or you can download it, send it to your Cricut and have your Cricut cut it out is amazing. And when you buy this downloadable version, you're gonna get a pattern for an adult face mask and a child's face mask. And so it's one that you can reuse multiple times. And so that's what's great about it. And like I said, you can find the link to that in the description box below. For those of you who are new to my channel or my regular subscribers, I do have a challenge for you that I will be bringing to you at the end of this video. For those that are new to my channel, I'm gonna jump into this DIY and show you just how easy it is to make this face mask. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so getting started, I went ahead and used my Cricut to cut out the template patterns because I had it out. This here is the child size fit alley perfectly and this is the adult size. This is a universal size so it's gonna be kind of a one size fits all. And this one here is the downloadable digital copy that you just print and cut. The fabric that I'll be using today is this firefighter fabric that I picked up to make a quilt out of for Jeff but since Masks are much needed for our first responders. I felt like this was a good fabric to use for that. I also have this, I guess, muslin fabric that I had been using for heating pads. And so I'm gonna use this as well. When looking at this pattern, you're gonna see that you have this round side here. This is the center of your face, the seam that's gonna go down your nose to your chin. Then you've got this flat side here. This is where the strings or the elastic will go that will wrap around your ear. For each face mask, you're going to need to cut out four of this template. Now, because I'm making my face masks reversible, I'll be tracing and cutting out two of this patterned fabric that I have here and two of the tan fabric. When tracing and cutting out your fabric, when you're using a printed one, you wanna make sure that the back bad side of your fabrics are touching, are face to face, so that way the good sides are on the top and on the bottom if that makes any sense and that way you'll get the right outcome when you go to sew your fabric together and so again i need two more of this template and this is going to be the inside of the face mask or the outside depending on who it is that's wearing it and if they feel like having a print or no print so this is what you should be left with before sewing two of each fabric now I'm gonna take my printed fabric and I'm gonna place the pattern side, the good side of the fabric face to face. 
on this rounded edge here, this is where we're going to sew it together on each fabric. You're gonna be sewing the two pieces together right along this edge. And so I'm just using a white thread. If you have coordinating thread, go for it. I'm just using what I have in my stash. I really made no trip to the store because I am kind of a fabric hoarder and thread hoarder. I had so much fabric and thread that is now coming into good use. And so again, you can see here that I am just sewing along that one rounded edge. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can very easily hand stitch this. It really isn't gonna take a lot of time, but if you do have a sewing machine and you're not one who really uses it, I think you should pull it out and put it to some use. So you can see here, we've got our two pieces sewn together. Now we're gonna take one set, I'm gonna take the tan set and I'm gonna turn it right side out, which is right side in, right side out. Okay, but anyway, we want the seam on the inside. Then we're gonna leave the other one right side in because we're going to place it together where both of the good sides of fabric, the seams are going to be on the outside. And so by placing it this way, when we sew it together, it's gonna to come out seamless. When placing it together, you really just wanna make sure that your edges line up, that that middle seam there lines up and everything will come out nicely. And because we're using a template, it's gonna come out perfect. We're gonna go ahead and sew these outside edges on both sides, but this side edge here where the strings are gonna go, you don't wanna sew those, leave those open. I gotta tell you all, I don't really do sewing videos all that much because I feel like it's really hard to explain when doing a voiceover, and so please be patient with me. You can really see what I'm doing here. That's why I really wanted to show me sewing it as well so you could actually see where I'm sewing and how I'm sewing it. This is one of those projects that I really like to do because to me, it feels good to help. Sitting here at home, you know, just trying to find things to do, I feel helpless and so I feel like by digging into my stash and putting some of my fabric to good use, I feel like I'm doing somebody some good somewhere. And so that always feels really good. And like I said, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could very easily hand sew these and just do a couple of them and I guarantee it's gonna make you feel good. And so this here is what you should be left with, both sides sewn together just like so, leaving like a quarter inch, I think, seam allowance there on each side. Now we're just gonna turn it right side out, right side in. Somebody tell me, am I, is it right side? It's right side out because right side in would be inside out. So yeah, now we're gonna turn it right side out. And so when we pull this out, we're gonna have a nicely finished piece where none of our seams show and it's looking amazing. And this is what you should be left with. We are almost done. This really is easy to do. I like to take an iron and just kind of flatten down those seams and press it and make everything nice and flat because I just feel like it's easier to work with when doing this last step. You could really get creative with the fabric, and like I said, this is reversible, so it's very easy to use two different styles of fabric, but because these are for the firefighters, I kinda wanted to use coordinating fabric. Now for the strings or the elastic that would go on this outside edge of it, I don't have any elastic on hand, but I do have a ton of this thinner ribbon. I have probably 50 spools of this. So this is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna make it work because it's all I have on hand and I am not leaving home to buy any supplies for these. Now you're gonna take these outside edges and you're just gonna fold them in. You can fold them in a lot or a little. That is going to be the basis of how long your mask is. Once I've got my edges folded in, I like to take an iron and just kind of crease those seams, crease those edges because when you go to sew it with the string or the elastic in it, it makes it a lot easier. Then I'm just gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna place it in between the two pieces. Now you're gonna need two long strings for each side. And so once I've got my strings in place, I'm gonna go ahead and just sew right along this edge. And you're gonna do that to both sides of your mask.
Now, if you don't have elastic on hand like me, but you do have the ribbon, you can use the ribbon one of two ways. You can make the strings long enough where they can tie it around their head, or you can make the strings just long enough so they can alter it to size behind their ears. And so that's what I did to try and save on ribbon. I think that for each person, if they just put it on and tie it behind their ears, then it'll be easier for them to slip on and off. And that is all there is to these DIY face masks. I think that they are super easy to do. And again, it was super budget friendly for me because I just dug into my stash because I love to sew, I love to quilt. And so if you're one who likes to do that, I think that you should dig into your stash and make some. This here is the mask that I made for Allison. She wanted one that wasn't gonna draw a lot of attention to her if she was in the cul-de-sac riding her bike. So we made her a tan one. I made this set of masks for Jeff's station and this here is one of the firefighters on Jeff's shift. She has a nurse friend that works at one of the local hospitals in our area and so I made a few extra for her to give to her nurse friend so her nurse friend could hand them out to the doctors, to the nurses, to the patients, to the janitorial staff who is working really hard to disinfect and keep the hospital clean for those who need to go. And I'm, I think every morning I'm just gonna make five or 10 of these masks. I'm gonna send them off to work with Jeff and let them distribute them to those who need them. I told you this face mask is so easy to do and really it's gonna take you maybe a half an hour to make one of them, if that. Once you do the first one, you really get into the swing of it and I think that I had put one together within 15 or 20 minutes and so it was so easy to do, budget friendly, like I said, it was accessible. Thank you Wish Carol for partnering with me again for this DIY. I really appreciate that you are giving my subscribers 60% off to this digital download and I just really appreciate it in general. I think it's something that everybody needs and the fact that it's so accessible to everybody, they don't have to leave the comfort of their home to do it is even better. Now for the challenge. I am challenging either those who are new to my channel or my regular subscribers to make as many face masks as you can and donate them. Either donate them to our healthcare workers, our first responders, people at the grocery store, maybe people at fast food places, our male people, all of those people that are really staying at work that deserve to be acknowledged that are bringing us some of the essentials that we need to keep going in life. And so I challenge you to make as many as you can if you have fabric on hand. So if you are willing to take on this challenge and do as many as you can, whether it's one, two, 10, 20, whatever it is, it is a difference. And I would love it if you would take a picture of it and post it on my Facebook page or send it to me on Instagram so I can share it and see all of the amazing donations and work and caring hearts that I know so many of my subscribers have. I hope you all enjoyed today's face mask DIY and found it useful. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And don't forget, you can find the link to Wish Carol's Etsy store in the description box where you will receive 60% off the digital download using the KB Creation 60 coupon code. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, happy sewing on a budget, and bye for now, everybody. Mm -hmm.